be here again. Every quarter for the last three and a half years, it's been my honor to come to Barbados and be with BID and be with the good people of this country. Back in the late 1980s and early 1990s, we used to refer to the internet as the information superhighway. Some of you may remember that. And that's because the internet had the promise of helping information flow freely and frictionlessly without intermediaries from person to person. Now, when that began to happen, I would say two things about the internet. One, very few of us understood the nuts and bolts behind it and how it worked. That may still be the case today for most of us. Two, for most of us, the first killer app on the internet was email. It was the first, our first touch of the internet. Well, since the late 1980s and early 1990s, the internet has grown. We no longer just use email. We use internet in almost every aspect of our lives. And indeed, the way that information flows freely and frictionlessly between us has changed the way we live. Now, with the internet, when we share information with each other, we always share a copy of that information. If I send you an email, or you download a file, or you stream a video, we are always seeing a copy of the original. Now with information, that's just fine. Having an extra copy of an email is not problematic. And in fact, if it makes the information flow more freely and frictionlessly, even better. Well, what the internet technology could not do was find a way to transfer digital assets like it did information, freely and frictionlessly. And so systems remained where if we are transferring assets one to another, we need middlemen, intermediaries in between. Sometimes those are banks, sometimes those are brokers, sometimes those are governments. But there are intermediaries so that when I transfer an asset to you digitally, you are not getting a copy. Because when an asset is transferred, it is quintessentially important that the actual asset be given and not just a copy. So in 2009, along comes blockchain technology. It solves the intermediary problem and it allows digital assets to be transferred in a way that is as free and frictionless as the internet allows information to be transferred. At Medici Ventures and Overstock.com, we saw the promise of the blockchain early. We are first and foremost a technology company. We were an early e-commerce pioneer and we have been an early blockchain investor, enthusiast, and advocate. Because we see the free and frictionless flow of digital assets to be a way that empowers people, that makes them less dependent on brokers and other intermediaries. And because we see blockchain technology touching our lives in every way that the internet does. And more important than touching our lives in the way that the internet does, transforming our lives. And so we have made investments in 18 or 19, soon to be announced 19, companies that are advancing blockchain technology, that are using it in the space of capital markets so that stocks and bonds can 
be transferred via blockchain in a more free and frictionless way. Allowing citizens to vote remotely in a secure, auditable way so that more people can participate in democracy. And most important to this group here and to all of our endeavors in Barbados in BIT. A company which has a grand and achievable vision of a central bank issued digital currency that will allow more people in Barbados, in the Caribbean, and indeed worldwide to participate in the 21st century economy. Own and transfer digital assets in the form of a central bank digital currency. Just like today, they participate in the 21st century information economy. We want everybody with BITS technology to be able to do that in the digital economy. So what of BIT? We love BIT. As our chairman, Peter George, said, it is one of our crown jewel investments. It is a pillar of what we think is happening. The progress that it has made in this past year since we met a year ago is phenomenal. It has a contract with the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank to do a pilot project issuing the first ever central bank issued digital currency. That pilot goes forward wonderfully. Just last Friday, I sat in a software demonstration by the BIT team to the central bank and its technology consultants. The program is lovely. It is technologically robust. It is safe, it is secure, it is everything a central bank could want. Now to my non-technologist eye, the beauty of the interface was that it was easy to understand and easy to use. Every central bank should see what BIT is building for the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. The progress has been phenomenal. What else has happened in the past year? Our chairman, Peter George, talked about three years ago, blockchain technology was seen as confusing, perhaps sinister, different. Today, that is not the case. The term central bank digital currency is bandied about by all central banks around the world. It is becoming mainstream. And what is happening in Barbados and what is happening in the Caribbean is that you are leading out. You have seen the future and you have clasped it firmly. You have embraced it. This is the place that will lead. This will allow this region of the earth to leapfrog others and jump to the future just like early adopters of the internet, early adopters of blockchain technology will be rewarded and rewarded richly. Their citizens will be freer, they will be less dependent, and they will participate in a grand world economy on a scale that we have not known and we have not seen. Medici Ventures commitment to BIT is no less than it was in 2016 when we made our initial investment. It is no less than when I spoke before you last year at this pulpit. In fact, it is more. We continue to invest, we continue to support BIT here in Barbados and BIT as it grows around the world. This is a wonderful conference. Thank you for filling the room. Thank you for your interest in what BIT is doing. And thank you for your foresight and vision to see the future and to grasp it firmly. Let's enjoy this day together, learning more about blockchain, learning more about BIT, and marching into the future. Thank you very much.